This is Twit. A lot of the uh, publishers are saying the rumor is that it's a 50% cut for Apple and then basically you get paid based on attention which is kind of like uh, clicks driving the web. You're, right. you're, if you read a Wall Street Journal article in Apple News Plus, uh, there are at least two content blocks in every story that are links to other articles because they want to just keep you right. and make more money off of you within the news app, which I, I think is not great. Um, and then, of course, there are a bunch of links back to oh yeah, Apple. Wall, the Wall Street Journal articles and News Plus are uh, there are like ads and house ads, and they can be they can be really littered with promos yeah. for them. So, so it's not an so, ad free experience. And these are not means. ads that re the revenue goes to a Wall Street Journal. These are Apple. I think ads. some of them. No, I think they're. I think the Wall Street Journal is the driving putting driving uh, you to other journal Although stories. This is an ad for Apple doing, News. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah. yeah. So there, there, it's a little bit of both. Um, but the truth is that most. Uh, news publishers like magazines are on board with this I think they're going to regret it um, and if you're like the New York Times or the Washington Post both of which apparently were uh, hard sold on this by Eddie Q Apple's uh, head of services um, they opted out and I understand why I get the New York Times and it's uh, iPad app is great it's a much better experience yes than Apple News Plus is yes. so you know why would why they would give up their that? customers and yeah. give up the money and and end up with a fraction of the amount of money that they're getting per uh, reader. You know so. who did is the Los Angeles Times, and I think they saw this as an opportunity. They've not been seen as a national paper in the right. same way the Journal and the New York Times and the Washington Post have. So here's an opportunity for the LA Times to get a new audience, a new national audience. Mm -hmm. So maybe they were hungrier and more willing to I, give up. I think so. And they've got a new owner who is right. interested in trying some stuff out. Um, and the LA Times is, is, is good. I, I mentioned whenever I praise the LA Times, somebody says it used to be better. It's like, look, all newspapers used to be better, but it's still a pretty good paper and it's got a pretty brutal see, paywall. Same ad. So it's nice to see it. This is the same ad for Fisher Investments that was in the Wall Street Journal. Yeah. So I'm thinking yeah, but if you this tap, must be an, an Apple. That may be an Apple ad, but if ad. you tap into articles, that's under the control of the Oh, uh, within the, the article. Okay. Yeah, and that's what the Wall Street Journal is. Uh, unlike the LA Times, the Wall Street Journal is very aggressive <laughs> in trying to put garbage <laughs> in those articles to get you to click other huh. articles. Huh. And that's a that's, you think that's an that's an ad, a, 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 a Wall, Wall, Street Wall Street Journal, Journal ad because it's in the article. Okay, and, and then, then there's, here's there's all the more from the Wall Street Journal. Yeah, yeah. so they're because they they yeah. want to drive you to other articles because they're basically now. Getting, if I click this, does it go get it within Apple News? Yes. It does. Okay, and then you you actually just scrolled past a What's News block, which is them trying to get your customer information by signing you up for a newsletter. Because they don't know who you are when you're in Apple News Plus, but if you sign up for a newsletter, does this take me? It does. It takes me out to a browser. They will open a Safari web yeah. view, and you will sign up and give them your email address, and then Isn't they know who that you interesting. are. So the journal is in here with a portion of their content uh because it, they're, the journal's very expensive online yeah uh, they put a portion of their content in here and you can see that the argument is yeah but we're going to be able to convert those people and we're going to be really aggressive about getting right. a bunch of uh you know cross links so they stay within our stuff in apple news most magazines though uh because it's a dying industry are very happy to be here i think it's a chance for them to yeah yeah a, and as oprah winfrey said a bit they're in a billion pockets a billion pockets y'all yeah they've got to be looking at that and saying well we're in you know 50,000 homes and, let's and let's see where else done we can right get. it could be powerful imagine like baseball it's it's opening opening day uh season right now yeah. Giants yeah, where am I baseball nice suspenders. Giants opening day is Friday uh yeah, baseball yeah. season started last week uh I subscribe to the baseball subject on Apple News and that's a good example where once you're a magazine that has a story about baseball stuff, it'll be in that. It, ideally, in News Plus, it should pop up. And like, right. even if I don't know that magazine and I haven't thought about that magazine, if a baseball story pops up in there from a magazine and I read it, they get credit for that. That that could be powerful. It's not great if you're Sports Illustrated and you want people to just view yourself as a Sports Illustrated reader. But if it's uh, if they're able to add more casual readers and yeah. maybe even get more loyal readers that way. Maybe it'll work. I'm skeptical about whether this is going to be good for publishers. I think it's good for readers, uh, although the app is confusing, and I hope Apple is redesigning it for this fall. Is this all curated by humans? Is this Apple's editorial? No. I mean, some of it is curated, but a lot of it is just algorithms where they're okay. they're sweeping up a bunch of articles tagged as baseball and yeah. showing them to you. Yeah. They're, they're top pages where they've got like top stories is mostly where the curation is going on i think interesting okay and the subscription deal is very similar to texture which is the uh, the company apple bought last right. year to give them this news plus 
So it's news 10, magazine right. stand. So $10 a month. They say that there are, uh, what, 300, 300 magazines said. in there. Yeah. Federico Vitici and Max Stories counted every them. one of them. <laughs> and it turns out about half of them are in Apple News format, which means you read them on your iPhone. I thought it was interesting that Apple demoed Apple News on an iPhone because they really want to get across that you can read this stuff on an iPhone. However, half of those 300 magazines are still just basically dropping a PDF. So if we look at this, which is not, not in Apple format, the only way to read this is, as in the old texture, and I'll expand it out, is scrolling through a PDF, through a PDF basically. Okay, and you right. can zoom in. Sometimes you can't, not all stuff, of them. But that stuff's definitely not going to get surfaced in your subject areas and stuff, right? Because they don't even have the it's article. It's just a PDF. They just have a file. Yeah. But then other magazines, like you know, Sports Illustrated and Wired, and there are lots the, of others. The good-looking ones, yeah. They uh, are using the Apple News format, which is more like a web page. So it starts with... with uh, an Apple kind of table of contents, which is which is live. It's clickable, yeah. and all those articles are not PDFs. They're right. They look like you know kind They're of nice. Yeah, reader. Yeah, and they even have video kind of in them yeah. and other. Yeah, so features. about half, so about 150 ish magazines are in the Apple News format, plus the Wall Street Journal and the LA Times, and some premium content stuff from people like uh, TechCrunch. My experience has been, as I just did with this Architectural Digest, that if you if you go to the front page of it and scroll down you'll get the apple format but in many cases if you swipe if you hit the front page and swipe right how did i do that i did it a second ago mm. maybe after <laughs> i was able to get to it's there the we magazine. go to what is i think no i guess no, this that's is the still apple, apple news okay so so uh in some cases it seems like i can get to the pdf even if they've done some apple formatting i presume apple is trying to work with all these publications to put it in the sure in the Apple yeah, there's, format. As somebody who worked in magazines for a long time, the challenge is that that's a that's, that's not an their investment. workflow. So you, yeah. you've got to figure out a way to get your text into right. Apple's format, which is not, uh, you know, press a button. It takes time. It takes resources to set it up, and then somebody on your staff, one of your designers probably, has to spend time every issue exporting it out to Apple News format. Do you think and, Apple's working with these uh, magazines to get them to do it? I'm, or? I'm sure Apple has provided them with templates and uh, all sorts of other stuff like that and maybe even plugins for InDesign and Quark yeah. Express. But, um, but the fact remains half of them haven't gotten there yet. And some of the publications, a handful of them, are digital first like this. This is the cut. And so that's kind of interesting. Uh, and, and they're doing some interesting things. Here's a moving cover, which they showed uh, during the Apple event. Um, I think it's it's interesting that these digital first publications would want to be in here. I guess it's just more people can see it this yeah. way. Yeah. So uh, I think worth ten dollars if you. I mean, I subscribed to Texture. What happens to Texture now? Are they going away? I I assume they will go away yeah. and just get subsumed into Apple News yeah. Plus. I think I I think in May that's the plan. Is that if you have a Texture subscription, it'll either convert or, but. No matter what, you won't be able to get a new one. But That's, I used to be a Sports Illustrated subscriber, for example, and it's kind of nice to be able to tap in there and read exactly. some articles here and there and yeah. not worry about it. I always, I always liked Texture because I could, I'm not going to subscribe to a lot of, you know, like Ad Week and Hollywood Reporter. They're very expensive, but being able to get some of that content, Billboard magazine, is great yeah. because of my profession. And I think that's the trick. If this is going to work, what Apple needs to do is find a way to get people who are casual, who are not going to be loyal readers of a magazine, to read their content. Then, then it's good for everyone. Yeah. What they don't want to do is steal away all of the loyal readers and have them lose the loyal reader revenue from the people who are hardcore. Because if they lose them and exchange them for much uh, less profitable Apple News readers, then they're going to have um, they're going to have trouble. Well, it also is the same problem that uh, magazines and newspapers have had with the web in general. They get disaggregated. Yes. So suddenly, instead of reading the LA Times, you're reading about a subject would might have an LA Times article, but it's completely separate from the full newspaper. So there's some discovery benefits, but there's also the disadvantage of your your paper's been torn into little pieces. Exactly. Yeah. And if you know you want it to be the brand of the LA Times, you don't want it to be just yeah. a headline on Google disappears. News. Yeah.